Hi, my name is Luke Van Mers, and today I'll be auditioning for the Bachelor of Fine Arts Acting at Whopper University. The reason I want to study at Whopper is that ever since I was a child, I've absolutely loved movies and the theatre, and I thought it was just absolutely magical the way actors could step into a completely different character than their own and disregard their own morals and beliefs in order to uh, portray a different perspective on a situation and I thought that was just absolutely amazing. Um, so by auditioning for Whopper University I'm hoping to get in and then hone my skills as an actor um, through your support um, so then I can start my career as uh, becoming an actor. Um, so yeah, thank you. Today I'll be doing two pieces. I'm going to start off with The Seagull, adapted by Benedict Andrews, and then I will do my second piece, oh sorry, I'll be playing as Constantine for The Seagull, um, and then I'll go into my second piece, which will be uh, Othello, where I'll be playing as Iago in Act 2, Scene 1. She loves me? She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. See? See? My mother doesn't love me. Why should she? She's desperate to believe she's still the same woman she was a decade ago. The star of her day. But all of a sudden, I'm 25. The hard to hide evidence that she's no longer very young. When I'm not around, she's 40 something. But when I am around, she's joined the over 50 club. And she hates Plus, she knows I think theatre's dead. A middle-class mausoleum. She still believes in it, of course. Even imagines it serves a function. That she actually has some effect on people's lives. She can't see that it's a dead form that people cling to out of nostalgia. It's got nothing to do with reality. With being alive now. May as well be television. It's equally banal, deadly, and meaningless. All we ever get is the same sentimental, self-congratulatory shit masquerading as reality. Or second-hand ideas dressed up as cutting fucking edge. When I see actors on a stage, pretending to be real, pretending to eat, drink, walk, talk, love, wear jackets. I want to scream! Stop! Stop trying to make me feel your fake feelings. Stop, stop trying to trick me. Stop treating me like a child. Your reality is not my reality. Your dead world is not my world. When I see the same cliches, the same reheated lies over and over, I want to run, screaming from the theatre, and bury myself in life.
Cassia loves her. I do well believe it. That she loves him. Tis apt and of great credit. The more. How be it that I endure him not. Is of a constant, loving, noble nature. And I dare think he'll prove to Desdemona a most dear husband. Now, <laughs> I do love her too. Not out of absolute lust. Though, peradventure, I, I stand accounting for his greatest sin. But partly led to die at my revenge. For that, I suspect the lusty moor hath leapt into my seat, and the thought whereof doth, doth like a poisonous mineral gnaw my inwards, and nothing can or shall content my soul till I am even with him, wife for wife. Or, failing so, yet that I put the more at least into a jealousy so strong that judgment cannot cure. Oh, which thing to do? If this poor trash of Venice, whom I trace for his quick hunting, stands the putting on, then I'll have our Michael Cassio on the hip. Abuse him to the more in the rank garb. For I fear Cassio for my nightcap too. Make the more thank me, love me, reward me for making him egregiously an ass, and practicing upon his peace and quiet, even to madness. Tis here, but yet. Confused. Knavery's plain face is never seen till used. 